Hello everyone, it's Adam here. We have a brand new R1250 GS Adventure. Just had a ceramic coated, isn't that beautiful? And today's video, we are installing these. Ram handlebar clamp with M8 bolts. Uh, I have these on all my motorcycles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing uh, these two T40s with two Ram balls. What I do with these Ram balls is I actually hook accessories to them and kind of like on a little arm and move it over here so my phone will sit here, for example, and maybe like a GoPro remote control or something. But it's just nice to have the little bolts. I, I like the little bolts because they're superior to the Ram clamps. The Ram clamps go around your handlebars and they really scuff them up. And so this is basically a scuff-free experience. So first of all, we're gonna remove these bolts and then we're going to install those balls. So for these ball mounts, uh, you're going to remove just the rear T45s and you're gonna replace them with uh, these one of these screws. I'll show you which one in a second and then the ball goes on top. Pretty simple to do. And uh, let's get started. So picking the right bolt, all you're gonna do is look at the threads on the OEM bolt that came out of that clamp and find the one that's the closest in length. That's pretty much identical. This part here is gonna be filled up by the ball. So you're gonna put this through here and then all that's left over is those threads. And so you want the threads to be just as long as the one that came out. And there you go. The other ones here, if you look at them a little closer, these are, those, those are probably too long. These are too long. So we're just gonna go with this one and uh, let's install. All right, so now you can see how, this, um, how these balls work. So you've got that there, you've got a little clamp there with my iPhone mount. Uh, this will get wired in later, but you can see how that looks nice and clean. Doesn't have anything clamping on like clamps, but not onto the handlebar. So I like it. And um, these are pretty affordable. I'll, I'll link them, they're like eight bucks a piece. I'll link them below. I I wouldn't warn more than two of them. I guess you could, but like, I like to keep two OEM bolts in here. And the tightening down order is basically tighten these down to resistance, quarter turn, then tighten these down resistance, half turn. And you pretty much have hit like 20 to 30 pound feet of torque enough to um, lock this down, so. Not, not too extreme, but not uh, so little that's going to move around. And really give it, you know, tug on it. So stand up on the, the pegs and really push up and down and make sure this all got tightened down.